follow me Or would you let it be If I leave tonight We could do this right We'll find the remedy Or would you stay with me now Till the morning Hello everybody Oh that was my phone Hello hello Hi everyone How y'all doing? <sighs> Uh, I saw people were having some anxiety and some panic attacks before we hit the live button. I want to make sure everybody's okay. Why? Yeah, I don't know. Just one of those, maybe one of those days. Oh, oh I get that. Yeah. Uh -huh. Yeah. Pale? You look pretty. Thanks. I thought I looked a little pale. No, you're good. Hello, everybody. Hi. What's up, Marco? Hey, everybody. <sighs> We have some things to talk about. We got a chit chat about some real shit. You know what? I found some great Arbon videos to react to. Do you really? I love that. I'm video. so pumped because Arbon's super weird about they don't do public stuff. Mm. You know, they always do it like behind the scenes, like Facebook groups that you can't get in. They're very weird about it. Yeah. And uh, today, I found today it. was a good day. It was a good day. In the words of Ice Cube, today it was a good day. Hi, did I miss anything? No, it just started. Yeah, we just started. We were a little bit late. I apologize for our lateness. Just happens sometimes. I look like a Barbie doll. That's literally the nicest thing you could tell me. That is so nice. <laughs> I literally love that so much. Kendall, Kendall wins. <laughs> a Barbie doll? I could only imagine. Oh, I love that. That's so nice. Okay, so JJ and I were talking about this live stream, and I said, this... Th we talked, we were talking about all the stuff that we were going to talk about. And I said, this feels like you went on vacation and then you do a photo dump, <laughs> like a, a Facebook, uh, Facebook photo dump. Like here's all my pictures from my vacation. And you just put it all in one. That, that's kind of yeah. what tonight's going to be. <laughs> yes. And we love it. Wait, I think I, there you go. And we love it. We do love it. It's also, thank fun. you for all the compliments of my hair. I appreciate Hello, it. Queen, look at that emerald hair. Thank you. Looks amazing. Appreciate but you look it. amazing with every hair color so thanks friend yes i have a quite a few squash mellows i love that yes, yes as long as you're not looking at it referring to your inner child i'm cool with it what? like looking at it oh you guys know what i'm talking about right on courtney's video on dc's uh dc it was, you were straight yeah on dc's um live stream from yesterday uh -huh. courtney short me mm -hmm. has a teddy bear and she has, I don't know what the word is, but she, I don't, I don't know how I want to word this, but she talks to this teddy bear like it's her inner child. Oh, wait, that's so, that's like depressing. Well, it, it's, it, it's a weird vibe, you know, weird vibe. I'm not yeah, sure. it's odd. Okay. But first we have important questions I have to answer. Oh, so sorry. Aaron. Oh, you're, you're good. Um, Aaron, have you watched the new season of Love is Blind? I started episode one last night, so no spoilers here. But Melissa, we will be talking on Instagram about it. <laughs> and anybody else that wants to talk about it. Um, <sighs> yeah, so. I think this is what you were, the poster or the comment yes, you were This is, yes, yes. Um, mm -hmm. Sorry, I will read it. Sasha had people transfer their inner child to stuffed animals. What? Yeah. It's a cult. <laughs> You might be in a cult if. If you oh. were told to transfer your inner child to stuffed animals by someone who's not a psychiatrist. Right. <laughs> not a trained professional. Sounds like my personal nightmare. Oh, I probably should talk. Yeah, I was going to ask if you wanted to update. How am I feeling? I'm feeling okay. I'm feeling good. Not normal, but good. Um, I might seem normal, but I'm just excited. I, so we're not sure exactly what's going on, but it has to do with my eyes and my brain. And we don't know if they're like seizures or what. And we're pretty sure, we're pretty sure it's caused by stress, but I'm going to the neurologist soon and we're going to uh, get looked at. I had my first episode, I guess, Sunday morning. I called Erin at like 4 a.m. She was, 5 a.m. She was asleep. So obviously like she's on do not disturb as, as do I. Not the call you want to wake up to. <laughs> no. So I'm glad you didn't answer um, <laughs> I can only imagine the chaos. Riley was like calling the ambulance. I was like, call Aaron. <laughs> Even though I could like barely speak and move and stuff. I was Aww. like, Aaron. <laughs> that was so funny. But um, yeah, so my 
I thought it was my heart. Heart's fine. That was secondary to what's going on with my head. So um, I'm much better. Erin can vouch for that because I talk to her almost every day. Yeah. Um, got my personality back, I guess you could say. And just hoping that, you know, uh, it doesn't happen again and that I can keep it under control. Yeah. That's it. <laughs> That's it. Okay. Okay. Uh, I'm glad you updated everybody because I was getting yes. a lot of messages and yeah. comments. I did have a lot of people um, ask me about it and I just mm-hmm. had not messaged them back. So I am happy that I got the opportunity to say that. Yeah. Okay. So today I'm sure you saw the thumbnail, by the way, shout out to JJ for making that awesome thumbnail. Thanks. I whipped it up in a few minutes. <sighs> I just, I guess maybe you want to start with the article. I'm sure many of you have seen this article yes. by now. Yeah. So have you all heard of Behind MLM? I'm sure I'm sure some of you have. I don't know if all of you have, but I know Aaron and I have used them in our uh, videos. We've referenced them at least. Yeah. Um, so they wrote, so the Behind MLM talks a lot about multi-level marketing companies, scams, stuff like that where things are happening in it, right? Like, so they will, they did the entirety of LMR timeline is on the Behind MLM website. And it talks about big things that happen. Um, and by the way, this isn't a negative light for the most part. It's not like a pro MLM thing. It's not at all. Um, but they did one, and I, I can share my screen. You're going to see coffee pods because I uh, want, apparently that's what, um, the internet wants to sell me today. I love that. Oh, I just ordered some of those yesterday. Really? Yeah. Okay. So also look, I shut up because you know, I, mm. I so <coughs> behind That's it, like, MLM. does the core enterprises have a lead contamination problem? So Eric, lead. you lead. lead. Yes. Jesus Christ. My brain's still funky. Please. I love you. Please bear with me because my head is still in the clouds a bit. Aaron, could you explain to us what LaCour Enterprises is? Yeah. So LaCour Enterprises is a business owned by Terry LaCour, who is also the owner of many MLM companies. One is Prove It. Yes, absolutely. And, uh, I would say it's reporting information. Absolutely. That's, that's mainly what they do. They also like keep up with the things that are going on big, right? Like something like this, like lead possibly being there. They also bring good sources, right? It's not just like a blog about, wow, this might happen. It's like, no, these are good sources, solid information. And they have it about a lot of other stuff that we don't talk about either, but it says, does the quarter enterprises have lead? Um, and I'll read a little bit of it. So yesterday I was researching an MLM company debuting a strip delivery supplement. It's Elamir. It <laughs> provided me a lot of access clarity from Elamir, an MLM company launched under LaCour Enterprises last year. Wondering if LaCour Enterprises might be behind this other company, I ran a few searches to see if anything came up. I forgot the exact string that brought me there, but soon enough I was reading about LaCour Enterprises ongoing lead contamination issues. To date, Judgments against and settlements reached with LaCour Enterprises are approaching a cool half million. Environmental Research Center Incorporated bills itself as a nonprofit cor- corporation organized under California's nonprofit public benefit corporation law, whose mission is to safeguard the public from health hazards that impact families, workers, and the environment. So I'm guessing Environmental Research Center Inc. or corporation is the company that look that was able to find this lead issue. So it says over the years, ERC has filed seven proposition 65, 60 day notices against various LaCour enterprises, MLM companies, 65. Mm -hmm. That's a lot. Uh, A 60 day notice is a document filled with California attorney, California's attorney general identifying an allegedly contaminated product and potential harm. Um, So back, I have to parent. You, you do you. I'll just be reading this. The, they notice, so the notice party then has 60 days to remedy the alleged violation. If they fail to do so, a lawsuit can be, be brought against them, against the notice party. Sorry, my brain is still funky and my eyes are too, but I'm fine. Proposition 65 lawsuits can be filed by the state of California or private parties. ERC is a private party. So all of the ERC 60 day notices filed against the core enterprises pertain to lead contamination with one 
Pervit, LaCour Enterprises, LaCour Nutraceuticals, LaCour Labs, and LaCour Logistics. Lead found in Keto OS Nat Pure Therapeutic Ketosis Swiss Cacao. Cacao. Okay, good. I read it right. File yeah, June yeah. 5th, 2020. Prove it. LaCour Enterprises. LaCour, I mean, it's the same thing. Um, it's just a different flavor. Tones, lime, lime, time. lime This one's caffeine-free heart tart varieties. Oh, well, also, there's a bunch of wow, them. Um, Maui Punch, Raspberry Lemonade, Splash, Heart Tart, and then the Caffeine Free Heart Tart. Mm -hmm. um, and then more of True Passion Caffeine Free, Caffeine Free tr Lime Time, True Passion Charged, Caffeine Free Maui Punch, Splash Caffeine Free, and Raspberry Lemonade Caffeine Free. And then these other ones are do not look like Prove It. I think they're just another um... company in there. Mm hmm Okay. So it says, uh, sure. Okay. <laughs> Sam Darcy. says, ooh, lead, lead, and more lead. <laughs> Yummy. We love it. <laughs> the PRC claimed that prior to notices going out, products are tested by an accredited laboratory. Detected lead detected exceeds al allowable levels under California's Prop 65 law. So it's saying, like, if there's lead detected, it's an exceeded amount of what they allow. So obviously bad. <laughs> Out of the 60 day notices, ERC filed against um, LaCour Enterprises to have resulted in file complaints. Things getting a bit sketchy here. Owing to filed complaints being at the state level and use of self-reporting on California's AG website, the first, uh, the first complaint dates back to the first June 5th 60 day notice. The complaint was filed on August 17, 2020. 70 79 docket entries and two years later erc was awarded four hundred thousand dollar judgment on june 22nd 2022 so it says that long ago no that's not that's that's like eight months ago maybe stipulated judgment entered for plaintiff erc aka california Nonprofit corporation against defendant prove it ventures inc defendant lacor enterprises lacor nutraceuticals LaCour Labs, LaCour Logistics. Um, um, so on the amended complaint filed by Environmental Research Center, Inc., ERC, on 9-24-2021 for the principal amount of $400,000 for the total of $400,000 and zero cents. So um, let's see. Should I just read the rest or just kind of look through? Yeah, you know, yeah. There we go. So let, let me read right here. It says lead is toxic to humans. Actually, Erin, do you want to read this green box and yeah, like, sure. look th and read through the rest? Yep. Uh, lead is toxic to humans and can affect people of any age or health status. The FDA monitors and regulates levels of lead in foods, including dietary supplements and cosmetics. While it is not possible to prevent or remove lead entirely from foods, the levels in food can be reduced. For adults, chronic lead exposure is associated with kidney dysfunction, hypertension, and neurocognitive effects. Also, wait, stop right there. Yep. Yeah. Cancer, birth defects, and reproductive harm are other commonly cited side effects. I'd like to highlight the cancer portion of that. Just let it marinate. Let it sit there for a second and like, let's think about that for a minute, you know? Mm. Yeah. The FDA, I was sorry, I was looking at the next one. Yeah, go ahead. Um, you can read it. Okay. The FDA classifies 15 micrograms of exposure to lead a day to pose no significant risk. Proposition 65 sets a much, a much lower 0.5 microgram daily limit. While we know ERC found more than 0.5 micrograms per intended daily serving of LaCour Enterprises products, the exact amount found hasn't been disclosed. Of course so they says, wouldn't want that. Yeah, out, right? Not. Um, it says, as alleged by the ERC in their prove it complaint, consumers have been ingesting these products for many years without any knowledge of their exposure to this very dangerous chemical. Prove It Ventures has been aware of the presence of lead in the named products and has failed to disclose the presence of this chemical to the public, who undoubtedly, undoubted, undoubtedly, there we go, believed they were ingesting totally healthy and pure products persuadent to the company statements. 
I think I said that right. I feel like uh, we just need to let that marinate for a second. Yeah, I know. <sighs> What's up, Dre? So it says that ERC was still de detecting lead in liqueur enterprises supplements as recently as November of 2022. November of 2022. So we're talking about somewhere in 2020. I don't remember the exact dates listed on this article. Yeah. To now the end of last year. I think it was June 2020 to the end of last year. That's over two years. And we're coming up on three, baby. Yep. Also, can we talk about this real quick? Just, just real quick. Because if Aaron, you do like a... A quick Google search. Uh, lead exposure. Let's see what comes up. Um, lead exposure and cancer. And I want to see what comes up here. Because I found an article the other day. And I need to, I need to look for this. Hold on. Let me go back. Lead exposure and colon cancer. Let's look this up. Five toxic chemicals capable of, and I'm sure you guys are researching as well, which, yeah. yeah. Um, five chemicals that can lead to colon cancer. Um, HCAs, I'm not going to try and pronounce any of that. Acrylamide, nitrate nitrite, organophosphate. Uh, uh, I'm not going to try and say that one. Yeah, that's not the article. I'll find the article and we'll pin it in the comments. Yeah. Um, By the way, we're not saying that this caused Jesse Lee's cancer. Just for the just for the record, we yeah. are saying though that this. Well, I'll let Aaron talk about it because someone asked this question. And it was, um, it was Ray and Ray said, Aaron, how do you feel as a previous consumer of these products? Yeah, you know, I, knowing I, that, that they had lead, yeah, that they had lead and that prove it is not doing its due diligence to tell you as someone who's, who sold for prove it and made yeah. prove it money. Yeah, I, I'm nervous. And, um, there's been more than one person that I know of that was a part of the empire. How do I want to word this? Yeah. That has to have a biopsy done. I guess that's the best way. I'm not going to obviously name this person. Please don't like message me and ask who it is or whatever. It's not my place to disclose that information. However, uh, I'm watching. Do you know what I mean? Like I'm watching and I'm, I'm side-eyeing. Yeah. Is that the best way to say that? Yeah. Also exactly this. And thank you, DC, for the super chat. Um, DC says, Jesse Lee said she hasn't, hadn't missed a day of taking ketones since the day she started to improve it. And she takes at least two a day. And I know for a fact, and I know Dre's in the chat and he can tell you too, that a lot of the times in the first several years of being improvement, they drank more than two a day. We all drink more than two a day. And I, if we're at an event, we definitely drink more than two a day. So I would say that there are some people that have had, you know, six to seven of the prove it products a day. So. Yeah. Um. Yeah. We, uh, we just wanted to talk about that. Again, everything that, uh, aside from reading this article, everything that we're talking about is our opinion. Yeah. We're not stating anything. It's just interesting. It's, it's also super dangerous of them to do that to the people like you who were a part of the company who sold and made them money. Like just the neglect of the people that yeah. work for them is absolutely ridic ridiculous. Um, oh, thank you, DC. That is super sweet. Um, there's something that I started first, Janet, I think it's important to talk about is I've been digging into Terry LaCour for months. He also has 16 PPP loans just under his name, but has 
more under his wife's name and his second in command. Oh my God. Huh? 16? Jeez. That's the, the that makes me so mad. Like the young living women who Yep. Like, Oh, sorry. Oh, you're good. I was just going through some that I starred. That's okay. You're good. Uh, so here you have it, Dre. We used we used to drink five or six or more, even more at an event, you know? Yeah. And on a regular day, three to four a day. So, yeah. Sorry. Do you want to go through some of the starred comments that you were? Yeah. Melissa said, Jail's cancer was caused by a genetic mutation, but I'm sure the lead in the ketones didn't help. Yeah, I'm sure it didn't help. Neither does... Y'all, neither does um, eating red meat. Yeah. Only, like, that is is cancer causing. That's proven to be. Um, Natalie said, I know it's a different product, but Modera is dangerous. Um, MLT has give. oh, is, is that, what is MLT? I think mm -hmm. it's a product or Modera. Has given me the worst symptoms with my Crohn's after I was baited into buying. I was hospitalized and my mom was also sent to the doctor soon after. Oh my God, wow. I'm so sorry. So, yeah, I'm so sorry you experienced that. That's <sighs> the worst. JJ. Oh, thanks, Savannah. <laughs> That's so nice. Hey, Savannah. Yeah, I just think that the, the reason that we're bringing this up is because I, I think that we need to pay attention. I think that we need to start researching. I think we need to ask some questions, you know? Yeah. Well, and it's part of our job. Yeah. What we do here, you know, like... It's just like, we are here to provide you information the way people did with Boo, right? The way people did with um, paparazzi, stuff like that. It's like, no, this is not okay. We're going to, we're going to talk about it. And then hopefully something will happen to the effect of the company being held accountable. And if not, at least, you know, because they're not going to tell you. So someone's going to have to. Janet said, and some of those loans for LLCs that he claimed had employees, but weren't open right before but were open right before the PPP loan and was closed after the second loan. <gasps> oh, That's not fraudulent, if you ask me. Janet, you are the MVP, friend. In my opinion, that's quite fraudulent, Terry. You might want to get your shit together, bro, before we uh, get, before we get knee-deep in that, that junk. I'm I really all about like this that. candle. I got to set the vibe. Light the candle, set the vibe. Light the candle, set the vibe. Right? How So... How do we get a copy of the full ERC report? Is that a thing? Huh, that's a good question. I can. I know all the super sleuths in here are going to be like, no, but I'll find out. Yeah. I think I, that would be interesting to read because they would probably, I don't know if that's public information, but they would probably uh, provide the amounts. Yeah. Interesting. Um, uh, sorry, I'm just looking through, um, some comments. Anyway, let me sort of the core enterprises manufacturers, not only a wide range of supplements for their own companies, but also white label supplements for third parties. Hopefully they've now eliminated the source of lead contamination. Yeah, hopefully. Right. Um, I would hope so because it's been almost three years, right? Like two, two years and eight months or so of this being present and prove it obviously was hit big with it. Yeah. Oh, Jessica. <laughs> what is this? Oh, PDF. We love a good PDF. Jessica. Um, found the ERC queen. <gasps> That's queen shit, dude. <laughs> I copy, copy that. Will you start that comment, JJ? Yeah, I can't copy it. Oh, you did start. I can't copy and paste it, but can you, um, when we're done here, uh, Jess, will you put that in the discords as well, please? Yes. ERC is a nonprofit. They're a nonprofit who, um, just helps keep products and place, you know, manufacturing places safe, uh, really just holds, just make sure people are doing what they're supposed to be doing. Apparently, uh, liqueur is not Terry mm. liqueur is not. Yeah, um, faster than Google. That it's true. Jessica, um, Auntie Leshy is faster than Google. Jaylee, do you, JJ, do you have squashmallows? Well, I have two there, and I have one on my bed, one on the floor. Oh no, one stuck between my desk and my bed, and another one somewhere. So yes, <laughs> Ooh, I love um, that. What about so the that was the first part that we wanted to talk about. 
And I, I just from from reading the article, it sounds to me like there would be quite a paper trail of companies. So it's not just prove it. It's not the one that's listed. It's in, in my opinion, after reading the article, everything kind of under the liqueur enterprises that are made in, in specific facilities or a facility that could have this problem. Yeah. Um, so it's hard because I don't know which, what video we should do first. So obviously oh. there's a new MLM. Yes. The olive tree people. Shout out to those that send it to Aaron, like the, like the, even the, if you find something, let us know. <laughs> yeah. Cause we don't obviously always have the time or ability to find the stuff. So thank you for sending that. Also, um, before we move on and yes, thank you for sending this. Um, Aaron Hall says, so strips too. um, Elamir is a company under liqueur enterprises that allegedly were made in that facility so i would say in my opinion yes i, I missed it because i wasn't even paying attention because i'm bad at this Daniel, you're doing a great job daniel y'all remember that y'all remember that that <laughs> that meme damn daniel <laughs> one just me okay <laughs> Uh, sorry, right. I'm trying well, to get my TikTok together. Oh, you're okay. But I also well, you're setting that up. I'll fill everybody in. There's a, there, I reacted to a video. You guys remember Shauna? Is it, do you say it's Shauna? I think Shana. you do, right? Shauna and Brandon from Elamere. You guys remember them? Well, if you haven't already watched the video, I reacted to their, hey, we're doing something new live um, that somebody sent me. Thank you again for sending that my way. And uh, now they're a part of a company called the Olive Tree People. And in that video, they mentioned, well, they villainized water in skincare products and called it dead water. You're putting dead water on your face. Dead water. I. Dead water is a nautical water. term. What? <laughs> it's a nautical term. It's when you have brackish water and salt water underneath it. Girl, what? Shauna, Shanna, Sh Shamana, I don't know. Shamana. <laughs> what her name? Girl, yeah, I need you to say that kind of stuff. Hmm. Anyways, also so I reacted to that. What they were saying was was absolutely wild. In that, uh, was it a live stream? I don't remember. It may have been something we were talking about in the Discord. Um, oh, it's a canyon new... water term too. Oh <laughs> God, you know it's the real deal when it's canyons water term. Yeah, yeah. And by the way, if you guys see any olive tree stuff, send it our way. Yeah, because we need to talk about it. As and to live water, as opposed to a live water. Yeah, yeah. Oh Lord. So, anyways, I don't know if you um, want to intro who we're going to be reacting to the first video next. In the white t-shirt that you're seeing below. Huh? Yeah. <laughs> I'm having a moment. You're good. Do you want to intro who has joined the Thank Olive Tree? Thank you for letting me do that. Yeah. <laughs> <sighs> um, if I'm off tonight at all, it's because my brain's a little wacky. It's still a little muddled a little bit. You're doing um, great. Thank you. Thank you, Queen. Uh, Mary, Miss Mary Scott. Miss Mary Scott is now part of the Olive People. That's what it's called. And, you know, because she was a part, what was she a part of? And then she's a part of Beauty Society. And then what was she before? When she, like, said a lot of bad shit about Chelsea. She did, didn't she? Remember, Chelsea did that video. Yeah. It made her mad. Yeah. Yeah, Mary um, Scott. Yep. Is it Brooke Banks? Actually, Brooke Banks is a Beauty Society. Wait, she left Modair? She sure did. Or she did... Was doing did both? both? I don't know, but I know she is with Beauty Society. Brooke. Sorry for yelling. Vic Beauty. She was in Vic Beauty. That's what that's what Mary, Mary Scott was in. Yeah. God. I, I did a TikTok on this, and it's crazy how some of these people switch companies. I, I don't know how their audience is not getting whiplash. I don't get it. What's so interesting to me is that... I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to go I'm going to talk about Brooke Banks for a second, okay, everybody? If Do you it. don't know our past... 
go watch the videos. They're probably, it's probably a year ago or longer. Go watch them though. You'll love them. You'll love them. So the funny thing is Brooke Banks was with a makeup company. What was it? I don't even remember. Allegedly, Shauna Shawarma made 1.5 million last year. Oh, she said, did you say shawarma? Because I said, yeah. Um, so Brooke Banks. Also, thanks for that, clown She was in a makeup MLM. Remember the first one? I don't remember what it's called. I can't, my brain's not doing it right now. The first one, uh, Vic Beauty? No. Uh, no, Brooke Banks, sorry. Yes. Um, uh, Lime Life. Lime Life. Pink, limelight, limelight. Pancreatitis, lime life. It was limelight, became lime life. Pancreatitis. If you, <laughs> if you are a, you were, you are a real like OG. OG. If you remember <laughs> pancreatitis. <laughs> so Brooke thinks we had a little beef. All right, she didn't. She wasn't happy about me posting videos. So she then she not. she beefed about it on Instagram, and then made long videos about it. Got mad, and then I, you know, obviously reacted <laughs> to those because why wouldn't I? Um, and she then, you know, was all about lime life at the top or whatever, close to the top, and she left for Modair. And she was like, Lime Life is the best makeup. I will still continue to use Lime Life. I will forever send you to people in Lime Life. Like, Lime Life's the best. Blah, 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 blah. Well, it's funny because now she's in Vic Beauty. So, Brooke, um, was Lime Life the best? Was it your best? What was this the best? You love it? Because apparently, you don't. Apparently, I, I wouldn't. I wouldn't imagine her using both, right? She said, you know, she said that it will always be her favorite makeup. Uh, Brooke, <laughs> you know Vic Beauty was around back then, right? I can't. Did you not have a good run with Modere? Did it not work out for you? Mm. If the you're like, you know, wasn't it's being real. sassy, it's because you don't know. Because no more swamp know. water. Oh, bro, but do you remember when she mixed that up? I was like, Ugh. oh, God. Uh, if y'all remember, y'all remember. So I'm curious if if Brooke is still in, uh, if she's still in Modair as well. Because, you know, these products were life-changing. Wait, this is funny, because if she's not Modair anymore, if she's not, I don't know if she is or isn't. She said, but Brooke loved the supplements from Modair so much. What happened? Right. Yeah. She might still be in yeah so interesting anyways i'm glad we talked about it i think she's i think she's moving completely away from modair thanks for letting me have a moment y'all <laughs> to have a moment i was just that was a good moment it felt good if you if you only you know if you know you know yeah <laughs> if you don't that's okay there are videos of it <laughs> but um, yep. yeah so we are going to watch Miss Mary Scott. Yeah. Uh, I was scrolling Brooke Banks's uh, social media. I am so hardly, I'm so blocked. Like even my, my like random, like teacher one is blocked. But I was a teacher, like it's blocked. Wow. She went hard, like, you, friend. She went hard. She hates me. But uh, anyway, so Mary Scott, back to it because Mary Scott was was a was a good one too, right? She was so yeah. pissed, and then she left Vic Beauty, interesting, uh, to the Beauty Society, and now is at the Olive People. I don't the Olive know Tree People. Who named it? The Olive Tree People. I don't know. It's a bad name, but I don't know. It sounds like a commune. I told Aaron earlier. It sounded like a commune. <laughs> Where, like, everyone sleeps in one big room and it's just, like, culty. It's scary. Yeah. Um, but I, I just don't know how they still have customers. Like, you can't, tr you can't trust them to stay in a company. Yeah. But anyway, so are you ready? Shall we, shall we start, Mary Scott? I'm ready if you are. Let's go. This one's, like, 18 Good minutes long. Good morning. Happy Saturday. Well, it's almost noon. Well, no, it's not. It's 1047. Am I going to be pausing it a lot? Yes. Yes, I am. That bottle on the right that she, the, the larger bottle, it's like 16.9 ounces. That's like 90 bucks. The bottle on the left, which is olive juice, 
not olive oil, olive juice from them pressing olives. What? Wait, <laughs> yeah. what? Hold on. Yeah. What are you talking? Is like that little bottle, the little um, dropper bottle. Olive juice? Yeah, $37. I could buy olive juice. You can go to your local yeah. health food From store. From the grocery store. Yeah, for, for not more than $10, probably. What? Is <laughs> she said name an MLM elote and I'm in. I'm in. <laughs> Sign me up. Did you say it was thirty seven dollars for olive for, juice? Yeah, for the for the little dropper. I don't remember how big that bottle is. <laughs> I can get you olive juice and olives for less than ten dollars. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> oh God, it's wild. So I'm excited to see these claims. Uh, okay, okay. Oh man, I'm sorry. Oh, I'm just warning. Oh my bad. No, I was just having a moment because I was trying to like imagine trying to like work. You know how hard she has to work in her brain to like do gymnastics to like oh miss, you know, miss all the embarrassment. I couldn't imagine. Oh, wait, I have to pin this. Wait, where did it go? Shelby, I have a copy of the Prove It complaint. Maybe I can post it on the Discord. Yes, please. Absolutely clean. Yeah. Yes, please. And thank you. Good morning. Good morning. Um, if you're hopping in, say hello. Let me know what the weather's doing there because it's really pretty here outside and then you step outside and it's freezing. Gotta love it. Um, so this morning I was like, you know what? I have not gone live about, you know, I always go live about makeup, skincare, all of that stuff, but I don't go live so much about internal products and what I've been doing to help the inside of my body. But not only that, it's like what you're putting inside your body also shows the outside. So um, what's been helping with my hair growth, my skin. I ate Chipotle, can y'all tell? Oh my God, that sounds amazing. Can you tell I ate it? Is there lettuce coming out of my hair or something? Or like <laughs> black beans popping out of my nostrils? I thought you were gonna ask if there was lettuce in your teeth. <laughs> no, cause she said you can see it on the outside, but you put on the inside. And uh, I can't. <laughs> if a chip pops out of my ear or something, I'll eat it again. <laughs> Only if it's from Chipotle. <laughs> Only if it's from Chip Chipotle. Chipotle. Chips. I call it chips. My sure. dad calls it Chipotle. Aaron, didn't you? Did you call it Chipotle? I don't know how I said it. Now I'm thinking about it too much. <laughs> my dad, the first time he went, he said Chipotle. I said, huh? <laughs> What did you say? He said, Dad, did you just say Chipotle? Like, Chipotle is a sauce. Like, it's a no, like, they named it after a sauce. I love anyway, that. Also, it's cute. I love it when people misspeak like that. The, er okay. the ERC letter only says exceeding allowable levels. There are no specific numbers. It also says that there has been an there has been ongoing investigation, or excuse me, ongoing violations since December 2017. That's a long time. Wow. Dang. That's alarming. Uh, someone said that I just want to, I just think this was really funny. They said, Miss Carol M said, better than jalapenos popping out of your butt, I guess. <laughs> 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 That's really funny. Been helping with my teeth, what's been helping with uh, my energy and all of that. And so, hello hello hi rachel oh she is watching from virginia i just got a tiktok comment that said they promote it as waterless skincare but then they have water in their ingredients stop it are you is that the olive people or is that another company either way i i i 100 believe it <laughs> could you imagine waterless skincare can you imagine <laughs> villainizing water in skincare it's, 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 uh, you know what? I could imagine them doing it, but, but I still get surprised. I mean, let me tell you, I do get surprised by the lengths they go to, but then I, but then I quickly, you know, quickly go, yeah, though no, that checks out, but no dead water, no, <laughs> no dead, no dead water. Also this. And tours are given at liqueur plants. Uh -huh. I wonder why. Yeah. Wanna, you want to go on vacation, go on a tour of a liqueur? I would do it. I've seen you and it. Me? Not that great. Oh. I'd do it. Take pictures. You sign. <laughs> <laughs> Rachel, is it cold there? I'm sure it's cold there. It's cold here. And 
it's driving me crazy. I live in Oklahoma, but it's like we are bipolar weather. One day it's hot, the next day it's not. Gotta love it. Okay, so if you guys oh, are relevant. watching, I'm actually gonna grab a couple things out of my refrigerator. I am live from my kitchen. No, I'm not gonna cook breakfast. Um, <laughs> in fact, we got some donuts right now. So. Oh, wow. I'm not cooking breakfast. I am just taking my internal products. Um, I'm gonna answer any questions that anybody has on them. Um, there are a few things that I've been taking every day. And I was just gonna talk about the benefits and what I've been seeing with them. Um, Virginia is the same way, it sounds like Virginia. You wanna come take some, some products with me live? Why do you need a chaser? <laughs> Maybe I'll have my son come join me. He's like walking upstairs. He had a, he's like, let me put a shirt on. Um, okay, so, um, so I guess the first thing that I'm gonna tell him to go grab his own cup too. First thing I'll talk about because he won't take this is actually our olive oil. Have you guys noticed? I don't know if you guys have noticed, but Starbucks is coming out with a drink that has olive oil in their coffee. <laughs> and. What? And what, Mary? <laughs> the fuck are you trying to say olive oil and Starbucks acting like your stuff is akin to that? No, honey. I guarantee you the drink from Starbucks is not going to be $90. <laughs> Mary, sit down. I think you need to stop drinking the olive oil so much. Oh, God. It's like putting butter in coffee. No offense to those that do, but like, nah. I'm good. I did I, when I was keto. I like I like my creamer. I do enjoy creamer. Yes. Also, like, all, okay, the amount of calories in olive oil, mm. that's going to like take your coffee from like 120 calories to like 300. And it's like, bro, especially if you're counting calories, like, for health reasons, why would you do that? She looks like she's trying to convince herself that it's for late. <laughs> You're right. And if Starbucks is going to start carrying it, that's why this product is so relevant. She's Obviously, working, that's sarcasm. She's working very hard. You know what? I'll, I'll play it, but I'm also going to try to look at the drink. And of course, I was like, holy, you know, it's like right at the right time. Olavita, the olive tree. Um, if you guys don't know, I'm part of the Olive Tree People, which is an umbrella over Olavita and LA Dope. The difference is, so Olavita, um, great product. Guys, their CBD company is called LA Dope. Wait, what? Dope? Yeah. LA Dope? LA Dope. LA Dope. Yeah, like Los dope. Angeles. Dope. That's the name of their CBD company. I love that. I <laughs> love the fun names. Like it's they're so like wild that you go, oh yeah, oh, uh, and they're not like boring anymore. Like let me think of one that's boring. Uh, yeah. Well, <laughs> I guess I'm having a hard time. What? Oh, so now the Huns are pro. <laughs> wait, wait. So now the Huns are pro Starbucks. Someone call Colleen. Colleen's got. Can I tell him the story? I'm telling you. Yeah, of course story. you can. Oh, I yes. Know. I need you to know the story about Pauline because we pissed her off. Photo so dump. Bad. That's what this live is. <laughs> it's a photo dump. It's just like a, let's uh, talk about some stuff that maybe you don't know. We pissed Colleen off so bad. So <laughs> I'm sure she's fuming. And let me tell you what happened. Okay. Cause I had a lot of messages on my Instagram be like, what happened? What happened? And I'm like, I don't want to talk about it to every single person in the world. Um, but I'll talk about it here. Colleen posted this, like, you know what? Let's Show it. it. Yes, pull it up. Okay. I'm so excited. So Colleen posted this. Hold on. I gotta... <laughs> Ooh. Well, hot damn. What happened? Whatever. Whatever. Nothing. Okay. Colleen <sighs> Nichols will take us to... No, she tells me there she is. <laughs> um, let's look at her reels. I'm giggling already. Okay, so. Ooh, I don't like that you can see my profile. 
Um, hmm. I'm going to download it. I don't like that you can see the profile that I'm on. So. Oh, yeah. No, we can't do that. Do you, want I, me to, do you want me to play the video while you're doing that? Yeah, go ahead and play the video. Okay. Everything's from hydroxytyrosol, which is olive leaf extract. It's super healthy. We are a waterless, which doesn't mean we don't use water. Um, waterless meaning we don't. Waterless means without water. So actually, yeah, that's what that means. You can't just make up your own definition. Well, they do often. <laughs> yeah. Waterless means without water. So if you have water in your product, you can't say it's waterless. Girl. <laughs> Use water as the first ingredient. So if you look at your skincare or your wellness, a lot of times your products will start with water, which means that you're not, you're basically getting a filler and a little bit of, you know, product. And actually water absorb, like, attracts to water. So what a lot of times what I didn't understand, I would put these that my skincare. Frankly, Mary, it still sounds like you don't understand. <laughs> what? This is horrible. My goodness. On. And by morning or even like an hour later, my skin would be dry and I'd be like, God, oh, everyone says this is the best. This is the most hydrating skincare you can have, but my skin would be dry and I would never understand. Well, the first ingredient was water, which made it so that the wa it was pulling water from my face. So just to let you guys know, like when you're- Hey Mary, that's why you use a hyaluronic acid. You wet your face, you use a hyaluronic acid, it pulls the moisture into your skin and then you seal it with moisturizer. For someone being in a skincare slash makeup company, she doesn't seem to know too much about it. <laughs> the first ingredient especially of your moisturizer or your um or your face wash or your serums are water you're actually doing yourself a disfavor you want to come take a disfavor thing? this is our teenage son Do you want to grab another cup like this down down yeah um okay so what i'm doing right now with my olive oil i actually just take a scoop uh like the top, and we actually use the most potent olives you can find, Alpino. <laughs> Alpino. <laughs> and I just pour it. This Hi, everyone. Wait till she finds out how much water is in the human body. <laughs> My coffee. You can take it as a shot. Like, I'll take a shot right now. It is kind of something that you guys got to get used to. Mm. So it tastes it like tastes garbage. Good. It's got fine. It. It's just a little bit of texture stuff. You don't have to do that. You're, you're, you'd probably be Did she almost just gag? I don't know. I wasn't watching. I'm trying to get this. Oh, going. we got to watch that again. I'm rewinding it. Sorry. That's happening. She looks like she just was trying not to gag. You know what? I bet she was because I'm sure it isn't tasty. I, that's why she has that little chaser of juice there. <laughs> also, <laughs> Alexa says texture. <laughs> yeah, right. Okay, let's watch this again. Can take it as a shot. Like I'll take a shot right now. It is kind of something that you guys got to get used to. Hey, Luna. It tastes good. It's fine. It's just a little bit <laughs> right there. Stuff. You know, you missed it. Wait, know. sorry. Okay, one more again. <laughs> one more again. And I just pour it in my coffee. You can take it as a shot. Like I'll take a shot right Watch now. Watch this. It is kind of something that you guys got to get used to. Hmm. It tastes good. It's fine. It's just a little bit of texture. So, you know. She really did not like that. She did it is not. A thing. But I do like to add it to my coffee and just drink my coffee with it. Okay. Doesn't taste any different. Okay. So the next thing. If your product you're trying to sell us makes you gag on live video. No, <laughs> thank you. No, thanks. Next product that we're going to try or take try i take is our io1 this is the very first before we take the io1 let me uh show you what okay i'll show you the video that this person posted this person so a girl the the instagram is called a girl has no president so 640 thousand followers and they'll post stuff that's like funny relatable uh political like good fun good stuff and um, well, 
they posted Colleen's and I sent them a little message. I said, Hey, and they messaged me back. Too. And so anyway, which I love, I love that they messaged yeah, you back. I was kind of surprised. I was like, yeah, oh, cool. Hey. Um, so it, it was this one, 2.2 million views, by the way. Yeah. Trigger Tammy. What's going on, girl? How can I help you? And what's funny is it says this one where Trigger Tammy calls into Emma Lim 911. Didn't like. All right. Was the content creator specifically talking to you this time? Still not. Okay. I think that one in particular was about like all the backlash she got from the Rihanna stuff. Uh, when she posted that horrible. Uh, I mean, I made a video about it. Y'all can go watch it. But um, I'm supposed to that really gross thing. This was the Instagram that reposted it. This Instagram right here, 641,000. And uh, I had messaged her. And I told her, you know, hey, this person isn't an MLM. She, you know, my opinion, she's really bad to women. She's her name's no shame sales game is and I don't I don't have any shame and she just says really disgusting things about women and is a, a scammer in my opinion and then I, I then sent her the Rihanna post and a few of the comments in it and she was like oh my gosh I didn't realize it and was like totally super awesome about it and instantly took it down instant at first she had to uh before you even messaged her she had to um cut off comments and she just took it down she was I'm like, so glad she took it down though. Like that's too. amazing. Me too. She was like, you know, I have so many followers. I just didn't real like I I it's just me working this Instagram. I just didn't realize. I'm like, dude, don't even feel bad. Like it happens. I'm just glad that you know, you know, you took it down and you were like too, yeah. super chill about it, you know. And so I said, if you ever need me to look someone up, you let me know. And they're like, thank you so much. It's, it's hard to. I, I mean, it's hard. when you're one person, it's hard to try and keep up with everything. You know, yeah. I mean, JJ and I get sent so much stuff and it's like, there's only so much time in the day and we're, you know, one person. I mean, we're two people, but you know, when, when we're being sent stuff, it's like, I want to cover everything, but there's only so much time in the day, you know? So yeah, yeah. I can, I can relate to, I mean, I don't have 600,000 followers, but, but even with what we have, even with like, yeah. okay, I have, sometimes it can be overwhelming depending on what's going on. Yeah. So, yeah. All right, I'll keep going. That our company made, and it was because he was trying to heal his gut. He was having um, our CEO, or our founder, he was having internal um, issues with gut health, and don't they all? Pretty much dying. No medicine no was helping him, and so he had to rely on his own medication. Look how much taller you are than me. This is wow, he was so excited. This is my son Cole, there. by the way. He's, I know he looks like he's 20, but he's only 15 and he's like twice the size of me. It's crazy. Um, <laughs> and this product is going to help with gut health. It's going to help with inflammation. It's going to help with your skin. It's going to help with um, your immune system. So it's going to help boost everything. This product is like if I could go and give this to every single person in the world, I would because I think every single person needs this. It's going right. to help with anything and everything. Would you give it to them for free or would you sell it to them, Mary? I'm just asking for my friends because yeah. I'm pretty sure you would sell it to them. Mm. Thing you can think of and no one really has this product. Um, it is $39.99, which is, I think, very, very um, affordable. You, you get a 30 day supply. Plus there's a 365 day money back guarantee. How I take this because it is bitter tasting. You can take it as it is, you can take it just like. Did she just say it's bitter tasting? So both of those products taste like hot garbage. I love that for us. The gag and then the bitter. <laughs> Mary, are you gonna gag with this one? <laughs> Scoop it in your mouth and or use this little thing. Um, A dropper. Whoop. So you've uh, never used but it, but it does say to mix it with some sort of fruit juice. You can yeah. take it alone. And you know what? If it is good for pregnancy and for kids as well. Mary, stop it. Are you sure about that, Mary? I think that that is not okay to say. Hold on. And if you are pregnant, 
please consult with your health professionals that you see. Okay. Yeah, you can't say that. Even if it is okay, you can't say that about pregnant women and children. You don't know. Like, you don't actually know. Mary. So the olive tree people bought a... Mary, you're in a cold. Call your dad. You are shopping with Mary Scott. Why am I shopping with Mary Scott? Oh, that's weird. I just typed in the olive tree people, and apparently I'm shopping with Mary Scott. My question is... And you've never looked at the website before? That's weird. Why would I... I bet she's like... She might be like one of their top... She might be like their top... Do you think, um, uh, yes to what you're about to say. Do you think those two, what did you call, what did you call Shauna? Sha Shawanda? What did you say? Shawarma? What'd you say? Shawarma. I don't know. Something Shawarma. like that. I don't remember. But do you think that, that she's under Mary Scott? I bet they are. I bet they're the top two. No, I'm, I think they're the top, like top of the pyramids, the two of them. Uh huh. Maybe even a third. Aaron says she's the master distributor. So people. Uh, are I have a question. <laughs> what the fuck you mean? This is just one hundred percent pure olive oil. Uh. So you're telling me. <laughs> you're telling me that this that this olive oil. See, that's the 16.9 ounce bottle. The $21. This is 100% pure olive oil. You're telling me that we need that? Hold on. Hold on. Okay. <laughs> Let's go back to uh, Mount I'm gonna oil. Put olive oil on Amazon just for comparison. Oh, well, it looks like there's quite a bit of stuff in here. Maybe they should talk to their doctor. Guys, you can get a 64 ounce bottle of olive oil from Amazon for fourteen dollars and ninety eight cents. Girl, did you <laughs> say olive oil on it? I cannot. Worry about my cussing too. I'll stop cussing. I, I just. Oh God, I love it here. I've been feeling a little. Oh! <laughs> Why is this eighty nine dollars? Me ninety dollars. Click on it. Which one is that? Oh, that's the LA Dope one. Hold on. Can you make Where's it a little, it? can you make it bigger? Yeah. Oh, I'm, oh, here's the ingredients. Aqueous extract of olive extract, apple juice concentrate, Wait. white aqueous. Black currant juice conch, elderberry, sodium hemp, aqueous hemp, zinc, camu, camu, carmine extract, D biotin preservatives, sodium benzoate, and potassium sorbate. So, and why is it ninety dollars? <laughs> Anyone else kind of like the hell is going on? Oh, sorry, I said stop cutting. It's an overpriced MLM product. Oh yeah, apparently. Um, yeah, this implies. Wait, I gotta, I gotta pin this. Ruby says, "Aqueous implies it's in water, friends." <laughs> it's the first thing on the there. First ingredient. <laughs> but she said there wasn't any. The lie detector determined that was a lie. Well, she said it wasn't like a filler, but it's. She's like, you know, it says water first thing on there. Yeah. So does yours. Yeah, yeah, exactly. What they don't tell you is in that olive stuff that's there's water in that. I they water it back down. I, so they're like, so they're like, look, this is our first ingredient. And from what I see is it says aqueous. And I'm guessing that that first ingredient, this is just my thought, is that they watered that down. So with water. Like, uh, no, Aaron. No. They couldn't no, use it water. A, it must have been another ingredient. Was it? I think it was a live water. <laughs> Rosie. Maybe it's li live water. No, that's what I just said. Oh, my God. Sorry. I'm getting By the way, Rosie is the MVP because she found the comp plan, which we're going to talk about. We're going to watch a video on the comp plan. So shout out to Rosie for that. All right. Should we keep going? Water down water. Yes. Water down water. Yeah. Wait, why won't it let me click on it? Oh, wait. 
Oh, we both live that as well. So what I do, I take a little Doppler out, put it down. Cole will take this with me. I'm using do it, some Cole. cranberry juice. How am I confusing you? I just pour a little cranberry juice. You guys can see that. I was trying to make sure. Just pour a little cranberry juice in there. <laughs> Karina says it's water, but in Spanish. I use one teaspoon. This is actually a half a teaspoon, so I'm going to use two of these. The FAQ on this company is fascinating. And I call this like my liquid gold. Like if you even have a sore throat coming on or just like not feeling right. Or I also say this is my, <laughs> I asked, I asked our CEO, like what the heck is in this product? Because Elderberry. right after I take it, my mood is just lifted. Like I feel like I'm more excited. I have more energy. It's not heart racing. I would say it's more mindset. Oh my um, God. It's all about it, it's kind of cool because it's it's definitely a product that I've never experienced before. I'm like, is there an antidepressant in it or what? So I just take no, one that shot. would be illegal. This is the first time Cole's tried this, so good. doesn't taste bad, right? You can't taste it. Mm -hmm. Tastes like cream. can you imagine taking a product and saying it helps my mindset? You know what else helps <laughs> your mindset? Reading a book, maybe. Oh. God. Joining an MLM, obviously, Mary would say that. So, Mary, you're telling me they don't need to, like, work on their mindset. They can just drink this? <laughs> they don't need to read the books or, like, do the trainings. They just can drink this. And they should be successful, right? Because if they have a good mindset, that's the only way to be successful is have a good mindset. So they can drink this, and they'll be fine and successful. Is that what I'm hearing? Oh, my God. <laughs> I cannot believe she said that. What in the Elamir is happening here? Well, right though, that's the same vibe. I get the vibe. Same vibe. It um, it calms me down, and it also energizes me. It helps me get better sleep too. Right, got it. Okay. What and and out of those ingredients, what exactly is going to give you energy? I feel like we need to send this to Brianna Jewel and oh, ask her i'm gonna ask her i'll message i'll message her and ask her later same and, rose my actual antidepressants help my mindset same can you imagine thinking or saying as an mlmer on a live video is there an antidepressant in here no that's it i almost called her brooke but almost same her brooke. but but, but kind of right right oh my god somebody's talking about monty python hold please Love that. I can't not think of Monty Python and the Holy Grail when I hear Elderberry. I just can't take this seriously. <laughs> Eliza I grew said, up quoting that movie. It's hilarious. Yeah. Um, Eliza said, I'm confused because why wouldn't you just buy regular olive oil? You know what? Same. Eliza, why? What? Right? I think that's a very good question. I'm going to message Brianna right now, actually. Um. Uh, <laughs> Sorry, I'm jealous of you. It's just so funny. I mean, give a comment. Okay, I'm reflecting. Yeah. Okay. Um, how long has this company been around? This company actually has been around for 19 years, um, which Europe. is crazy. They are very big in Europe and they've sold um, retail in Europe for years. But now that they're in the US, they want to bring more of a direct sales component to it because of the products just sitting on the shelves and not telling the story. They really wanted to have the consumers there sharing the story behind the products, sharing why waterless, why the hydroxytyrosol, why olive trees, why it's so important. Like olive oil, if you go and read and, and start really researching olive trees and olive oil and go Google it, go look at all of the, um, the, uh, the science, scientific background behind it, you will see so many benefits to olives and, and um, the olive trees and the olive tree elixir and hydroxytyrosol, all of it. And they really wanted consultants there sharing that story and sitting on shelves, it's not sharing that story. So that is why they decided to go into direct sales. Okay, so this is our collagen. Okay, so I got my nails done two weeks ago and this is how I, my, my hair, my nails grow super, super slow, right? 
super slow. Usually I can go like a month and a half without getting a fill. Like you guys can see how badly I need a fill. And I'm just going to say it's just collagen because I've never like needed a fill so quickly. Um, it's really bad either. Yeah. If you take collagen, it will make your nails grow. <laughs> yeah. Mm -hmm. It might even make your hair grow. Oh my and, God. And I could buy collagen for cheap. She's and like, olive oil. Can you, can you believe that collagen does this to my nail? Yeah, I can. Absolutely. Oh, God. <laughs> huh? But I'm so surprised. And it's like, uh huh. Yeah, it'll make your nails grow. That's, that's what, <laughs> that's what, that's what it does. <laughs> I cannot. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Andy's wet. Thank you for the super chat. Right. That's why this guy at Toyota is talking is talking to me it has nothing to do with getting a sale. He wants to tell me a story of the company and the vehicle. Right. He's not trying to sell you a car. Well, of course he is. That's why he's talking to you. That's why he's asking all kinds of questions. <laughs> oh, Lord. Are you so right. these off or I need to take them uh, or I need to go get them filled. Um, but you can see my nails are growing so fast since taking this. And it's good for hair growth. It's good for your muscles. It's good for your bones. It's good for your insides. Um, so like we're going to take, and this is porcine, porcine collagen, which is actually, it's not bovine. It's not marine. Go look up the benefits of porcine collagen because it is from pork, but it's very expensive and most companies don't. Did she say it's from pork, but then also is saying it's vegan? I don't, she couldn't say it's vegan if it's from pork. It says vegan on the website. So either she's got it wrong or the website's wrong. I don't know. <laughs> Pig Mary? <call. laughs> the Mary. website says it's vegan. What's going on? <laughs> What's How happening? can it be from pork if you're saying it's vegan? I don't use it because of how expensive and good it is. It's the most like human collagen. So, so that's very important. So we're just going to, I just kind of fill this up a little bit. Um, and I'm actually, don't, don't take it yet. He's like, I'm about to take it. No. I actually mix it with our hyaluronic. Hyaluronic acid's going to, when you ingest it, you know, when you're putting it on your skin, yes, you'll notice a little bit of plump and it will... But when you're actually taking it and ingesting it, your skin, you're ba basically sweating it out. Your base, your, your skin is getting it, getting the nutrients of it. So hyaluronic acid is great for plumping, anti-aging. Um, so you definitely want your hyaluronic acid in a liquid form. Liquid is best. So. Okay. Did you guys see Cole yawn like that? All I have to say is same Cole. I'm with you. <laughs> Always go for liquid. These two you refrigerate. Now this one, we'll see if he likes the taste. I like the taste. I think it doesn't taste bad. Again, you're gonna take it. Go for malt first. Well, you mixed it with cranberry juice. It better not. Like go malt first. That's that's the rule. Um, and you're just gonna take it like shots. Oh, Cole was struggling. See, he likes it better than the cranberry juice. It tastes good, right? Yeah. Yeah, it's sweet. It's it's great tasting. It does. Um, it's very smooth. So. I hey, Mary. If it's so great tasting, why do you have to mix it with cranberry juice? Uh huh. That that that. I, I mean, I'm just asking again for all my friends here. Just. I will say it. So that is my morning routine. You're good to go. Thank you. Okay. Let's thank Cole because. He's, he never hops on a live with me, and to have my teenager decide to hop on a live. Um, I think he decided. To have my teenager hop on a live. But the, this is my morning routine. I take all of these things every morning, um, and I will say I've seen a difference in my You guys notice how she just had that dropper just sitting on the counter? So whatever's on the counter, on the dropper, into the bottle, now we have contamination. I love that for her. Man. Mm. Hair growth. I know. I know, Eloise. I think that's our, our resident pharmacist that we see often. I know she is screaming right now. I just, 
I know she is. Yeah. I've seen a difference in even the texture of my hair. I've seen a difference in obviously my nails like crazy. Uh, they're growing like a mad woman. I don't know what to do. Um, and so much more. So, and again, we are new to direct sales. So we have under 300, I would say under 250 people on, um, in the company right now. So this is brand new. We still are in pre-launch. <laughs> um, and it is going incredible. I love this company. It's a company that I feel like I align with. I love that the waterless aspect of, you know, what is different, like no other company that I know of, um, has the, the, all of the hydroxy tyrosol and our waterless, um, which is, important to me but not only that why is it important to you that it's waterless mary when the first ingredient has aqueous please tell us <laughs> is that with the water that they don't use they actually oh. go and build wells in africa and if you know me you know africa is near and dear to my heart and i love it so much and so the moment that i heard that they give back and and build wells in africa i was like Okay, tell me more. I need to know everything I can about this company. And I've now been with them. I think it's been a month and two, a month, a month now. It's been a month. It's been one month. So I, I was the very first person to join, which I was honored to be the very first person to join. Um, and it's been one month. Our team is doing amazing. We're, I have had no complaints about the products, which is really exciting. Um, everyone has been loving them. Really excited. She said it's been one month. One month. All right. Give it time. <laughs> You'll get some complaints. Don't worry. Just give it some time, Mary. Excited. The energy is good. And I, I feel like I'm home. Like I finally found my place and it's something that I. You said that before. Multiple times. Like more than once. <laughs> so I, I, excuse me if I don't believe you. Hmm. I have been searching for, so if you are in direct sales, you know what that's like, you know, like sometimes it's hard to find, find your place. And, and you know, that after my last company closed, it was really hard on my heart. It hurt a ton. And I wasn't sure if I was going to ever be back to being me again in this industry. And so when this, this all came, and this opportunity came, I was nervous at first. I was really nervous. Like, what are people going to think? Oh my gosh. And then I started trying the products and feeling the product. Let me tell you what people probably are thinking that have been watching you jump from company to company to company, saying the same things over and over again. But now you're home. Now you're, you know, I'm, I'm where I'm supposed to be. And oh, by the way, every purchase helps Africa. I pinned a comment a, a second ago, but it's like, where in Africa? Where in Africa? Show us exactly what is, how you are helping the continent of Africa. Yeah. She just says that for, um, oh, what is it called? Uh, I want to let y'all know that since the stuff happened, my brain's been fried. So I'm trying to think of the word. Um, I'm thinking I'm with you. Um, I actually forgot what I was going to say. It what starts with me. What did I say? No, it's, I think what you're trying to say is it starts with the V. Brownie points. Okay, we're virtue getting there. signaling. I found it. Virtue signaling. That's what she's doing. She's virtue signaling. Woo! Kendall said that too. Thank also, you, Kendall. thank you, Kendall. Yes. Yes. <laughs> Someone said I was confusing them. They're like, I know you're sick, but you're confusing me. If I'm confusing you, I'm sorry. I am also confused. So let's keep going. Thanks and loving the products. And I was like, if I don't do this, I'm. Like, I would be missing out on, on money. such a huge opportunity. And so here I am, loving these products, loving what I'm doing again, and super excited. So if you guys have any questions. Didn't, say, didn't she say that she was loving Beauty Society? Remember we, there was like a, a Zoom or something that we reacted to and her whole background was blurred and she was talking about how excited and how, didn't she say that? Am I imagining that? I feel like we reacted oh, no. to that. Absolutely. We did that, right? I'm absolutely, yeah. We did a beauty society thing when she went to beauty society. I'm pretty sure. Yeah. 
How many MLMs has she been in the past year? You know what, Amber? That's a great question. At least two. Vic Beauty, Beauty Society, and now the tree people, the, the olive tree people, the tree people. <laughs> I can't. So that's three. Oh. <laughs> Feel free to, uh, to get that for us. <laughs> at all about the opportunity about these products that I just took about the skincare anything I'm always here to help I'm thankful that each of you guys are here and watching um, and Christine thank you I'm so excited to have you back here as well are those seriously your real nails Mary well no okay no. yeah okay I have a so these are this is dip right here so you guys know, my sister knows I cannot grow my nails for nothing. Like I really can't. And I if you take collagen, they will grow. <laughs> so yes, your nails are growing because you are taking collagen. I just can't get why that's such a big deal. <laughs> I mean, like, come on, Mary. It's hard. It's very, very hard. Oh my God. I had dip done, right? And I usually my nails still like i don't have to get them redipped for months like a month i would say and Rachel. this is what they look like two weeks later and i'm like oh my gosh y'all like it's it's i need to go back like asap so um my nails just don't grow like they don't and so after taking the right products i guess they do the and right my hair is really slow to correct. grow too like if you that's guys know i've been growing my hair out for years so correct mary that's how collagen works it will grow your hair skin and nails skin. vegan from from pig vegan vegan co collagen from pig loud and clear to her yeah that's very waterless nice. when the first ingredient says aqueous but I know that I'm the one who's having some head trouble here, but I'm pretty sure I'm confused because Mary's confusing. Yeah. Anyone else? Yeah. Also, Shauna and Brandon's live was not any different. Really? No. They were just all like... This. I should send it to you. I think you should react to it if you want. Do you think so? Yeah. Would you guys watch it again if you haven't watched mine? Would you watch hers? I think you should. Well, I mean, I want people who also watch yours to watch my videos, so... Well, yeah. I'm Would you guys watch it again? With JJ's it's commentary? With, yeah, see? Absolutely. I'll send it to you. Nice. If you want. Even my hair, I feel like it, I just got it done not too long ago. And I can, and I got a few inches cut off. And it's already growing back. So I will say. Thank you, Rachel. Hi, Thanks Jamie. I just got a few inches cut off and it's already growing back. Well, yeah, that's how hair works. We missed you during Power Hour, love. Um, but again, if you guys have any questions at all, oh, always yeah. here to help. I will say these are my go-to morning things. Olive oil is a must. If you're, yes, if you have a history of, um, <laughs> as I'm like, I can't think, um, if you have a history of Alzheimer's or inflammation or any type of, um, autoimmune, start taking a good olive oil. Like this is only $16.95 y'all. Go grab an olive oil um, and start taking. You could take. Um, Amazon called and they have a sixty-four ounce bottle for like fifty bucks. <laughs> Imagine sixteen ounces for twenty-one something. There's also supplements with this molecule that they keep talking about, and you can get that in a in a lot of different forms in its own supplement. So, like what they're what they're showing is not that exciting. I think we need to rehear that because people are saying medical claims, and um, I think I go to that. morning things. Olive oil is a must if you're if you have a history of um, as I'm like I can't think um, if you have a history of Alzheimer's or inflammation or any type of um, yes, because Alzheimer's ha can be cured by olive oil, Mary. My grandfather passed away from it. So, no, uh, I don't think olive oil will cure that. <laughs> well, I'm going to send this video to FTC. Yeah. <laughs> God. As you should, too, friends. Yeah. Jeez. <sighs> wow. Mary went hard. She went balls to the wall right there. Medical claim, balls to the wall. <laughs> I oh, just can't. Mary, but if you say any olive oil, then why would I pay for your $21 olive oil when I can buy 64 ounces for $14 on Amazon? <laughs> It's wild how that works. So, yeah, isn't it? Interesting. 
gosh. Oh, man. Autoimmune. Start taking a good olive oil. Like, this is only $16.95, y'all. Go grab an olive oil um, and start taking it. You can take it just like I did as a shot, or you can take it in your coffee, or, well, maybe I shouldn't show that other thing because it's not in stock right now because everyone has bought it and sold it. But our matcha, oh, you can put it in your matcha as well. We do have matcha teas that are amazing. Matcha alone. They are sold out already until April, so I won't talk too much about those. Um, so, but again, you must like Lord. this one, the, the <laughs> collagen, I believe is, I want to say it's $89.99, but then if you sign up to be a, an LRP, which is our loyalty customer program, you get auto ship off and all of that. So that's always good too. You can stop it at any time as well. I do store these in my refrigerator. So make you sure that you store your hyaluronic acid and Karina. your collagen in your refrigerator. My IO one and my olive oil. I don't, I don't know if I should see it. No, this one, it doesn't say to store in your refrigerator. Oh my God. I was like, do I need to? So again, I will put my link at the bottom here. If you have any questions at all, feel free to reach out. But that is my morning routine. You met my son. I hope that you guys. Yeah, bye. <laughs> See you later. You look so aggressive. <laughs> My ending? Oh. My end of it? Yeah. Right. I, I love it. was it. great. Oil, it's a, a username. That's literally the name. Username said matcha and oil, olive oil business. Interesting. <laughs> People are like, leave my matcha alone. It's fine as it is. Thank you. Yeah. Yeah. Oh my God, you guys. Um, is this what you wanted to talk about? Today, I'll be walking. Oh, oh, is that the other video? This is the comp plan. Okay, let me let me tell the story real quick. So this is what Rosie found for us. So again, shout out to you, Rosie. Um, when I first heard about this company and I started researching, first I found that there's like nothing on YouTube about them. Normally you can find like comp plans, you can find different things. There was nothing. And I was like, oh my God, we have to start talking about this. And... Rosie did her magical thing like a lot of you guys do, which we appreciate, and dropped this video in the Discord, and she's going over the comp plan. The comp plan is not listed on their website. You can't find it anywhere, so I'm assuming that it's some sort of an internal document or something like that, which is sketchy, in my opinion. Um, but just like every other comp plan pay attention to how many ways you get paid on the sale of the product versus recruiting or activities around recruiting or that have to do with team building that kind of thing what the amy joe show said the company is creating a bioactive bracelet that connects you to olive oil trees 24 7. i don't understand how that works what the what huh Pro probably a mindset thing <laughs> Well, you know what you need to fix that? Whatever's in her bottle, olive oil. A little olive oil. Just rub some olive oil. olive oil on it. Do the trick for you. Remember my Greek, my big fat Greek wedding when they're talking about just just put some Windex on it. Just now we're gonna start saying just put some olive oil on it. It's fine. <laughs> also, thanks at Twitch. Thank you. Yes, Thank hello you. everybody at Twitch. On Twitch. It's on Twitch. Connect me. Interesting. What? Connect me, not, <laughs> not me going to Google. Kim, this is so funny. Kim said, I'm going to start an MLM where we just sell straight up hay and tell everyone it cures migraines and self-delusion. <laughs> oh, God, that's so funny. Oh, I got a new bottle. That looks so nice. It's an ombre. Yeah, and it's real soft. Anyways, um, have you guys had water today? Yeah. Now's the time. I have. I have had some water. Could use more, but... We can always use more. Um, so do, would you like me to start the... Oh, it's buffering? Oh, it's buffering. It? It's buffering? Are we buffering? Oh, buffering for me. It might be maybe your internet connection? Uh, my internet says it's great. Yeah. I... My, well, it's like, it will tell me if it's off. I hope that's waterless water, Erin. <laughs> that's <laughs> Shelby says, I have had my aqueous solution. <laughs> That's really funny. I love that running joke now. Rosie says, was it live water? <laughs> oh. 
Um, um, MLM uh, No said that JJ, I tried liquid IV. Cotton mouth approved. Ooh. That's good. Great news. Yeah. Also, they're 25% off right now. So I don't know. Grab it. Use her link. Um, not buffering. Use her affiliate link. Way back. Oh, yes. I do have an affiliate link if you mm -hmm. want to do so. Um, Melissa J said, not buffering for me. For those that are buffering, try to leave a live and then hop back in and hopefully it'll work and just keep us updated. Okay. Yeah, please yeah. do. Okay. This video is only like five minutes long. Her volume is very low. The sound is not that great. The slides are small. Just we're going to do the best we can with it. I would love to get my hands on the actual comp plan where we can blow up the document and JJ and I can go through step by step. This is just kind of a first look, if you will. So bear with us, everybody. Yeah. This is obviously not our video. We're just uh, going to provide the commentary around it. So yes. here we go. I'm going to make us small. Hello, and welcome. Yeah. Today, I'll be walking you through the Olive Tree People Compensation Plan. So right off the bat, we're going to jump into retail commissions. You're going to earn 25 to 35% off of anything that you personally sell. If you sell $1,000 to $3,000, you're going to be bumped up from 25% to 30%. Should you sell over $3,000, you're going to be bumped up to 35%. Whatever level that you're at with your retail commissions is the same bonus that you're going to receive off of your personal purchases. So if you are at 30% retail commissions, you've sold between $1,000 to $3,000, that is the same percentage in a discount that you're going to get off of your personal purchases. In addition, whenever you put an order on LRP, which is our loyalty rewards program, AKA our subscription program, you're going to AKA an auto ship. Okay. To receive an additional 10%, meaning that you could earn potentially up to 40. Also this $3,000 worth of lot. olive oil. That's a lot. What did she say? The price was of that. Did she say $17 or six? She said 16 95. Didn't she? Of the olive oil. Yeah. That's how much that bottle was for her. Uh, I can't like remember. A, was it seven? Was it sixteen or seventeen dollars, guys? Okay. We're gonna go with. We'll go with seventeen. I'm gonna bump it up. So in order for you to get, I think that's a thirty-five. Or she said, I think that's thirty percent because it's one thousand to three thousand. You get a thirty percent discount. And that being said, in order to get a thirty-five or a thirty percent buying discount, you would have to sell hundred and seventy-six bottles of their olive oil. One hundred and seventy six bottles, one hundred and seventy six bottles of olive oil to get to, to bump up from twenty five to thirty percent. Well, that's oh on the gosh. high end, the three thousand. Yeah. Thank you, Steph, for the super chat. You're awesome. We appreciate those. Uh, that's a lot of olive oil. That's a lot of olive oil. I mean, a thousand, a thousand divided by 17 would be 58 bottles. So even on the low end, that's a lot of bottles. <laughs> Jules said, I wonder if it works as lube. That might be a selling point. Hey. <laughs> hey. Oh my God. Wild. Percent discount on your products. Moving on to fast start bonuses. Fast starts are paid out when you enroll a new member. These are paid for the first 60 days. And this is based on anything that they personally sell. You're going to earn a bonus. Their fast start is based solely on recruiting. Did you guys hear that? When you enroll a new member and it's based solely on what they sell, their fast start bonus is specifically on. <sighs> can you see the message I starred that I'm not going to show, but can you see something I starred? Yes. I hope y'all are getting the Jesse Lee live because I want to cover it. Yeah. That's wild. Wait. Can you see the one I start? Yeah, but I don't understand the first word. C-O-V. <gasps> uh, oh my God. Okay. All right. We'll talk about that at another time. Let's keep it moving. <laughs> 
But anyways, their fast start program is based just on recruiting from the sounds of it and from the looks of this document. You get paid a like bonus. That's what these fast start programs are. And it's all it's based on recruiting and what your new recruits sell. Off of that, off of those team members for the first 60 days. It is required that you, as the enroller, must have an LRP to participate in this bonus. You have to have an auto ship. All right, moving on to the team growth bonus. Team growth bonus is also based on LRP and it is used to create a long-term sustainable business. The way it works is if you have three people on your level one that you personally enrolled on a loyalty rewards program, you're gonna get $50. But the great thing is that these are stackable. If I had six people on an LRP on my level one, I'm gonna get $100 and so on and so on, on to infinity. Also on your level two, if you have nine people, you're gonna get $200. On level three, if you have 27, you're gonna get a thousand. And these again are stackable on level one, two, and three. So it's very uh, different than most organizations out there, but it's also used because we want to build a long-term sustainable business um, for you. Uh -huh. All right, let's move on to the organizational structure and bonus here. So there's been three different bonuses or whatnot that they've talked about the first one was retail sales the second one was the fast start and then there's the team growth bonus so three like 75 percent of this comp plan is based off of recruiting in some way shape or form oh mm -hmm. yeah because mm -hmm. that's a different oh, range my bad no you're good it just popped into my head last second because that's what's going to help them make the most money right because she's talking about how their their plan's a little quote unquote different, which I don't think it is, um, because they want to help them like make the most money. That right. well, recruiting that's what's going to make you the most money. Also, welcome, I have a thought. Oh, welcome, Steph. I have a thought. If Mary was the first distributor, and when you go to the website, you're automatically put under Mary. I wonder how the other distributors that have signed up feel about that. That doesn't seem very equal opportunity, does it? I don't think so. <sighs> Yikes. It's listed at the top. You can see that you are required to have $100 in personal sales or purchases to maintain your title. You'll personal see the sales. monthly group volume required for each title. I know that's You'll really see small. the number of legs and rank below that required to hit these does that say two it says two in that first one. Oh my god that rank is called black olive uh, look i was just looking green it says olive green olive violet olive silver olive gold olive black olive olive star green olive star violet olive star silver olive star gold olive star and black olive star now that is something a little different <laughs> that's a little different i must say I can't, but you have to have two or two, Sorry. three, four, five, or six different legs. God, this is awful. Thank you, Aaron. Different ranks. For example, at Black Olive, you need two silvers. So you need two legs that have hit $2,000. And you need a total of $5,000 in group volume. All right. And then below that, you'll see the commissions earned from level one through seven. I really want to highlight the percentages here and how deep this goes. So um, starting off the bat, you're earning 10% off of your level one. And then you're earning five. Melissa says, but do they have a dirty martini level? Yeah. Yeah. 5% all the way down to level five, which is very unique. You won't see that in most organizations. And then on your level six and seven, you're earning 
I will note many other organizations don't go this deep and don't give as large percentages off downlines. Uh -huh, okay. All right, let's move on to rank advancement. For Black Olive, once you maintain, you're going to receive a monthly bonus for month one, two, and three pictured here. Are they going to have shirts with the ranks on them? Like, I'm a gold star olive. <laughs> I don't even know what to say. <laughs> it's terrible. Uh, Rosie's a spicy olive. Tell us what kind of olive. <laughs> I'm a pink olive. <laughs> Oh, a pink olive. That's cute. I don't know what I would be. <laughs> I'm, a, I'm Scottish. I'm a deep fried olive and chips. <laughs> oh, my God. Stuffed olive. I don't know. Oily olive oh. is the family member we don't talk about <laughs> who got kicked out of the group. <laughs> oh, my God. Oh. And then for Olive Star, you're also going to receive a bonus every time you maintain month one, two, and three. And let's say you hit Black Olive and Olive Star in one month. These are stackable I can't take bonuses. It seriously. And then moving on to your leadership quarterly bonus. Anytime you hit and maintain a rank, you're going to receive a quarterly bonus. You'll receive a thousand for green olive star, fifteen hundred for violet olive, two thousand for silver olive. I swear, I thought she said violent. I thought oh. she said violent. Is it a violet? Yeah. Not violet. Gold olive star is four thousand, and black olive star is six thousand. These are paid four times a year, um, and they are continual. That's it. We have a very simple compensation plan here. Um, and there may be room for enrichment um, later in the future as we continue to grow the company. Thank you guys for watching this quick compensation overview. We're so excited that you're interested in being a part of Olive Tree People. Please reach out to the person who sent you this video if you're interested in gathering some additional information. Thank you. <laughs> Thanks, Marco. Keep up the great work, y'all. The olive tree people, because that sounds like a cult. <laughs> I can't, you guys. I cannot. <sighs> Anyways, uh, are you guys okay? <laughs> what a wild olive ride that was. Eh? Eh? Did you... <laughs> Did you want to do that Facebook one as well or not? Do you want to? Do you have it? Uh, I don't. Well, I I have it pulled up, but may, I can try to get it off of Facebook. Okay. Let me see what I can do. I, do, I am going to have to run to the potty. Yeah, yeah let's take a, a quick little break. Grab a drink, some olives, if you feel inspired. <laughs> also, this is for you. Thanks, Marco. Thanks, Marco. Appreciate it, man. Uh, I uh, think I can get the video. Okay. Grab some uh, olives. I'll be right back. I'm just, I'll be right back. Two oh, seconds. wait, we're not going to do, um, we're not going to do Shauna and Brandon. We're going to do Jesse Lee. We're going to react to Jesse Lee's live. Are you guys down? Now? Like, do you want to? Or what, what were you doing? I, I was talking about the eight minute olive tree number oh. five one. My bad. That's my fault. Yes, so let's do good. that. Okay, let's I'll be the olive. I'll start it and then I'm gonna watch it from my phone while I go pee real quick. Well, I, I need to use the facilities too, so let's oh, just you take do? a quick break. Yeah, just I'll like real quick. Real quick. Okay, let me let's take a, a pause. Okay. Okay. All right. Grab a drink. Grab some olives. We'll be right back.
we have to find these jams. Fun. I love it. Wow, that was, look at us. Same, at the same time. Okay, so we'll do this one um, eight minute video uh, and we'll see how it goes. I guess. I'm gonna turn my light down. Okie dokie. I'm still here though. Okay. Oh, why can't I hear it? Oh, hold on. I'll just share it from Facebook. Okay. Hold on. I'm definitely using Olive as my next sim name, as you sh as you should, Jamie. I think, honestly, I think Olive is a cute name. That is a cute name. Wait, I wonder if it'll let me download it from the YouTube. I forgot about this video. Wait, this might let me download it, the YouTube one. Oh. Or not. <laughs> I'll just share it from Facebook. Okay. Okay. <laughs> Brandy says, what's the difference between extra olive oil, extra virgin olive oil, and regular olive oil? A candlelit dinner and a bottle of champagne. <laughs> That's amazing. Brandy, I love Brandy's comments. They're so funny. <laughs> Oh, what's up, Felicity? Okay, y'all ready? Ready. I'm saying, hey, let me know what city and state are you tuning in from? Why? Just double checking. I did everything right, and I did. So, hey, guys. Green for all. So, I normally don't come to you live, but um, especially not at night. But I had some exciting things that I just wanted to felt compelled to come and talk. Really? So how's everyone I, I doing as you're jumping on? Please let me yeah. know what city and state are you tuning in from? If you're watching from another country, drop in the comments what country. And if you're watching on replay later, please do hashtag replay. Let me know what time were you watching when you joined. So hey guys, so I'm so excited. Um, I know a lot of you guys that I've met here on social media, on Facebook, um, let me tell you what a blessing you have been for me. Um, I started in this industry of network marketing about nine years ago. Mm -hmm. Hey, Shanna. And um, when I started, I had less than like 500 friends. No joke. I think I maybe had 250. And let me tell what? you, I am here today, confident as hell, and so excited to tell you guys what the heck I found. Because for a lot of you guys who've been following me for a long time, you know I'm a resilient bitch. That is me. So I want to come to you live today and tell you what the heck I found. So hey, guys, as you're jumping on, say hey. Thanks, guys. So um, nine years ago when I got into this industry, I fell in love with a skincare company, a beauty company. And I had never done this before. It came from corporate America. And I ran salons and spas for a living. <laughs> so it's not like I had a clue what to do in this. You came from corporate America to work for another corporate company. Because I mean, uh, I, who, who, I forgot who I was uh, reacting to the other day, but they were like, oh, I think it was Courtney in my last video. Not Courtney, prove it. Uh, Q Sciences, Courtney. And she was talking about how why why won't you support us instead of like those big box stores whatever like those big store those big companies that make millions of dollars i'm like big that's what you that's who you sell for is the large company right. who makes millions of dollars right you're not a small business you sell for a large company right so i i love get a, a very small percentage of commission and the rest goes to the mlm company exactly it sells however much money per company. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Yeah. Exactly. I do love World her lip color. Emma. Her what? I love that lip color. Mm, yeah. LM. But guess what? If you can take instruction, if you can be vulnerable, uh -huh. if you can show up Preach. consistently, Preach it. if you can be excited about whatever it is you're promoting, you're still going to fail in MLMs because <laughs> the MLM business structure works. Did I get it? You got it. You nailed it. Also, okay. I love how she's telling them all the ways that they can manipulate their audience. Yes. Oh, this is such a good one. I didn't realize Great. that. Was I am here to tell you uh -huh. you can do this. Absolutely. I can mm -hmm. do it. 
you can do it. Oh. I now have, I think, and I'm not saying this to brag in any way, okay? Hi, oh, Diana. okay. It's just like now I have over 7,000 friends. Gotcha. That's a big deal. You know For what? me, that's a You know what? 7,000? That's pretty good. Um, how many have you met in mm. person? Mm-hmm. Listen, I got, I got one bestie for the restie, and I got one one good friend and maybe another close friend. Mm-hmm. And I am like, good. Is it funny? I know who you're talking about. I mean, other than me, bestie, like yeah. we, we all know, but yeah. like I know who else you're talking about. Ooh. No, I'll tell you later. Okay. <laughs> Big deal. That took a lot of hard work, a lot of commitment, and a lot of. Um, consistency right so i want to talk about the fact that um i just recently found something that oh. i am beyond excited about oh, and oh, i'm almost will. so excited that it's oh, hard to get words yeah. out <laughs> that makes any sense. imagine being excited over olive oil yeah oh wait oh is it oh it's the money got it absolutely uh, She's one of the first under 300 distributors in the u.s makes sense um mm. Zorzin said, what have I missed after the break? So we just started another um, olive video, olive oil video. Uh, this is one of their early consultants. And she's telling us about how excited she is. And she just felt compelled to go live today to talk about confidence. And now she's like, oh, and I also, by the way, yes. I found something that I had to share with you guys. I love how they try to transition and it's not smooth at all. Um, it must be me. I would love to be friends with Mac. I've never talked to him. But him and I would get along really well, I think. Yeah, I, yeah, I agree with that. Yeah. So if you've been there, put some hearts up, put some hands up. So I'm just going to get to it, okay? I'll do it. I'm not going to keep it a secret. I want to show you what I found. So I joined this company a couple oh, of days boss. ago. And I first of all want you to look Can you pause this? at how Sorry. beautiful. Yes. Okay. So, um, Shauna and Brandon held up the box and the tissue paper and like made it a huge deal. This tissue paper and how beautiful the packaging is. And I'm like, it's tissue paper. Like I've seen better like sounds branding. Like, sounds like they're compensating. Yeah. Like they're over, you know how MLMers like overhype the smallest thing. Like, oh my God, you guys, this lighter. <gasps> and they make it sound like it's going to yes. do everything. Yeah. She does that with the tissue paper and it's really awkward. It sounds because like they're compensating for the product that sucks. Yeah. Yeah. This packaging is okay. Oh my God. Um, imagine it it's a is box. a brand new company. We are in pre launch. And not only a brand new company. do we have Janet. what I freaking love, which is skin, <laughs> exactly. but we have wellness. So it's like my jam. <laughs> so uh -huh. I want to show you and talk a little bit real quick. I'm not going to get into details tonight. Look at the okay? inside of the really box. Not. Wow. I'm going to show you a couple wow. products. Stunning. But I'm not getting into the science Never or all this seen. stuff. But I am going to tell you I'm freaking excited. I want to show you paper. what this company's all about. So this. Shauna, Shanna, whatever your name, Shamwa. <laughs> Uh, Sham me, did you say sham wow sham wow but wow works too tell me about that tissue paper again right because somebody didn't get the memo oh, god yeah and maria says 19 years is brand new <laughs> <laughs> yes company started in europe about 14 years ago and they have 19. a huge retail clientele I want you to go to Instagram. But she, but you're, but they're brand new. Got it. Got, <laughs> well, but didn't Mary sense. say 19? And I think Shauna and Brandon said 18. And now she's saying 14. So I'm, 14. I'm confused. Me too. Me too. And okay. check out their backstory. Okay. They just launched here in the US. And here's why. So I almost went to school to be a CPA. Okay, because oh I've always been a nerd when it comes to numbers. <laughs> so Sounds good. I've uh, been saying this, and some of you guys who we... I can tell you didn't go to school to be a CPA, though, because you joined an MLM. 
Right. Also, I love how they talk about, you know, the numbers don't lie. Okay, well, why do you guys not acknowledge the numbers on your income disclosure statement? Why do you guys not acknowledge when people actually do a profit and loss statement and see that they're they're in the red, they are losing money, it's costing them money to be a part of the company? Why don't you guys acknowledge those numbers? Exactly. Yeah, Weird. it doesn't fit their narrative. Yes. That part. We have been partnered up, we've been friends, we've been mentors, we've been whatever to each other from day one in my first day in MLM. What have I always said? Numbers don't lie. And that's the truth. This company no, already in Europe no, they don't. has 78 million customers. That's no 84% joke. that doesn't look good like that. Hold on. Let me let me close those flaps. <laughs> Mary, hello, Clyde, hello. So I am like beyond excited, 14 years in Good business, 84% of their customers oh, there it are is. happy customers, which means what guys, they don't return their products because guess why they work. 26% do. I don't know the average return rate yeah, for a retail are, brand is. Those numbers aren't sounding great. Mm -mm. Of the 78 million, 26% of 78 million returns. That's a lot of people. First, first, yes, absolutely. Dave. Cite your sources. All right, right, let's cite them sources. I see, um, you see. But also, like, that just, that doesn't sound very good. I yeah. think wrong. All right. Maybe someone will find out. I'll press play. <laughs> That's like huge. So um, I honestly am so excited about this company that launched March 1st. So we are in a very early pre-launch. We have less than 300 reps here in the U.S. right now. And for all my Canadian friends, I cannot wait till we launch in Canada, which will be later this year. But we have so many exciting things happening. And honestly, I feel so good because I'm working with such an amazing team of people. From the master distributor who I worked with years ago back in another company. I won't say names. Why not? But um, I went on the leadership retreat with her. Same amazing woman, name. Mary Scott. So great to be working Incredible. with you again. Um, my very good girlfriend, Shan Stunning human being. Ten incredible. out of ten. What? No, incredible. Yes. Yes. Mary what is the part from Ferris, Scott. Huh? from Ferris Bueller's Day Off where he's like, incredible. It was, well, I can't remember now. Well, that. Yeah. Yes. Anyways. Anna Lee Hunter and her husband, Brandon, met in a previous company, and I'm so excited to be united with and running this and so many amazing other people. But uh -huh. this is the time, my friends, if you're sick of looking for that shiny ball thing, <laughs> like I'm gonna make a zillion dollars in my first month, okay? Well, um, that's okay. what happens. Shanna did, Sh Sham Rana did. <laughs> is it Shanna? I think it's Shanna. Shanna, Shana? Did. Shana? I don't Shannon know. And, her, and Brandon, they, uh, that's what they did in Elamir. Um, you know what's really funny? Yeah, what? I don't think I even told you this. On the video that I reacted to, they said that they've been taking these products for six months. Well, some of these beautiful humans that are in the, in the comments right now uh -huh. said, well, hang on a second. If they've been taking it for six months, I think they backdated it to like October of last year. So they just started in Elamir in July. And then according to them, they'd been taking this product, whether they were a distributor or not, I, I'm not, I'm not sure, but yeah, that goes back to October. So they've yeah. been collecting money from Elamir being the right. top in the company until they resigned in March. I think it was March 18th, something hear, like that. Hear me out. In a year from now, they will be in another brand new MLM because yeah. they're grifters. Yes, they're they gonna are. go make a million and a half dollars like they did in Elamir. Yep. And then they're gonna make another million here, and then they're gonna make another million there, and yep. they're gonna keep doing it until they 
until they can, until they are millionaires and they don't need to work. They're already millionaires, but you know what I mean. Like yeah. enough where they they're set for life. That is a grift. Yeah, that they'll be like, the ones that start a new company with Terry Lacour, and they'll be like the CEOs. Yes. <laughs> yeah. Worked out well for Van, hasn't it? Oh yeah, very much so. Good for you, Van. Ugh. So let's be realistic. We all know what this yes, industry let's. is all about. And it's about what you put into it. It's about your passion uh -huh. for what you're selling. No. It's about what you bring to your community. Really? Because Colleen says it's not about that. Right. Million Charlene minute said, two. Yep. Wow, I think we identified a pattern. Isn't that weird? Uh, grifts. Weird. Grifters. Also, this unfortunate pause story here. My bad. No, really. The olive oil is absolutely worth the price. <laughs> grift is going to grift and criminals are going to crim. <laughs> that part, Janet. <laughs> oh, that is so funny. And to your friends and how you help them move to that next level. Wow. If you've been searching and looking and God knows I have. Okay. God uh, knows I have. God knows. So if you've been looking, God know. I'm telling you, it's over. You need to message, mail, whatever, whatever you need to get in touch. If it's with me, if it's one of with one of my friends, get with them. You cannot miss what's happening because this is just <laughs> the little beginning. And honestly, I am I haven't been this excited in a decade. A decade, guys. <laughs> About anything ever? In a decade? Nothing in a decade has excited you this much. That laugh was so awkward. Like, are you trying to make us believe that? Or are you trying to convince yourself? I actually believe that. And here's why. Mm. Money. Ah, uh, yeah. I think she thinks she'd come out with a million bucks this mm -hmm. year. Who was the lady? What was her name in Elamere that said that she's been praying for an opportunity? Joey. Remember Joey? Joey. You remember yes. her? Joey. I, I wonder how Joey's doing. Do we I haven't heard much from Joey. I, do you think she's still in Elamere? I hope she got out of all MLMs. I honestly. do. I do hope she got out. I don't know. But remember, she was like, I was praying for an opportunity like this because people in MLM know that if you get in at an opportunity like this, you're going to recruit a bunch of people and you're going to make a bunch of money because okay. the majority of money you make in MLMs is off of recruiting other people. Yes. Yeah. Oh, God. She's in like four MLMs. Anyways, I just wanted to come on quick tonight and tell you, we are just launching. We are just doing everything yeah, right no. now. So if you've been looking for amazing skincare that's holistic, that's organic, that's waterless, <laughs> which I didn't even say, so sorry guys. Waterless. Um, we have a molecule that's like for our company, our products only. And is what? You, you have a molecule that is only for... Wait, wait, let me re let me re let me see what you said. We yeah. have a molecule that's for our company only. Amazon called and they said that's a lie. <laughs> wait, she said they have a molecule. A molecule? Oh my god. Wouldn't it be a chemical compound? I cannot. I cannot handle this. You have a molecule that is for <laughs> your company only. Christine. <laughs> I hope people who are watching are smarter than that. Jeez. <laughs> you a molecule. Oh, God. Can you patent a molecule? That is a good <laughs> <laughs> question. I can't. Can you patent a molecule? That, I, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to ask Google. Hold on. I'm going to ask Google right now. Can you patent a molecule? Did you invent a molecule? Is that like plankton? <laughs> a proprietary molecule natural elements natural products like molecules are not eligible for patent protection mm. <laughs> and now we have a scientific a new scientific breakthrough wow a super special molecule that only distributors can see <laughs> I cannot believe she just said that Oh, God, Christine. A, William Hope, A molecule? Yes, one. One <laughs> molecule. 
that's science blasphemy. <laughs> wow. Christine. Oh, Joey's in Lime Life, Elamere, Awakened, and Bellamy. Main grip and Dollhouse. And Dollhouse. Oh, you, can I tell you guys a funny story? Yeah. I put it in the Dollhouse? Discord. Several months ago, I did a video on Dollhouse. Yeah. And I, I was covering one of their main distributors. I think she's one of their main distributors. And today she commented on that video. So again, thank you for boosting that video and bringing, you know, it to, you know, more eyeballs. And she commented, hold on, I want to read this because ma'am, that's not how that works, but go off. Okay. This is what she said. Hi. You don't have to ask others for my history. I've been in the industry five years. I didn't have a bridge. I built my team organically. I had a team of 10,058. I have resigned. I have my own independent business now, which by the way, looks like an MLM. I still need to do more research, but it appears to be an MLM with a comp plan. So love that. Um, please don't put my videos in the future. Thank you. Hey, Marissa, that's not how that works. Hey, Marissa. Now I want to do a video. Oh, I'll send you her. I'll send you, know you her. I mean? Well, if it's an MLM, obviously, or a scam. I'm pretty sure it is. I just looked at it. It's, a, it's oh. one I've not heard of before. Marissa, don't do that. That's bad stuff. Also, Marissa. Kim, I can't. <laughs> I can't. <laughs> uh, Marissa, that's not how that works. And also, you should Google the Fair Use Act. Okay. Love that. Oh, I'll press play every single one of our things, including we have a line called LA Dope, which has CBD in it. So LA not only dope. Skincare, but also ingestibles. Like how cool is that? So like, cool. I'm just so imagine, imagine, imagine talking about the products and saying, so our product LA Dope, <laughs> imagine. My local dispensary called and said, no, thanks. Yes, LA Dope. <laughs> Um, also, Janet said, period, comma. Okay. Yes. What rank are you? I'm Violet Olive. <laughs> I'm Violent Olive. I'm Diamond Black Olive. Oh. What? I, I'm Black Olive. Black Olive? I'm Triple Black Diamond Olive. I'm Orange Fairy Dust oh. Oily Ooh. Olive. You threw everything in there. I can't compete with that. Yes, I clearly would be in your downline. <laughs> clearly <laughs> clearly oh my god i can't even talk completely <laughs> anyways oh, no. great seeing you guys i'm gonna be coming to you live a lot <laughs> so get used to it lots of reels lots of live videos of um, demonstrations with the products with our wellness lots of cool things i'm, I'm so excited to be in this wellness. um be in this place thank god so anyways, guys, I am so excited. Thank you for jumping on. Can't wait to connect with you. And listen, honestly, if you're talking to one of my people who are in the company, who are sidelined to me, talk to them. Get on. Don't okay. Hey, Solid. Don't, be, don't be one of her 7,000 friends. Could you imagine? What was I going to say, Dan? That was the best eight minutes. That was great. That Christine, was thanks for that. Christine, I yeah. loved it. Do another also, one. Also, uh, fellow content creators, mm -hmm. you know what to do. We have things to discuss. Yes. Yes, we do. We got to chit chat. Oh, I, my God. A rainbow unicorn olive. Janet, that's so cute. I wish oh. I would have got a pink kitty. Rainbow unicorn. That's cute. That's cute. Uh, double, <laughs> double crown royal olive over here. Wow. That's actually pretty stellar. Uh, <laughs> Princess Ruby Double Decker Diamond. Wow. Double oh, Decker. Damn. <laughs> I so feel like I laughed level, this entire life. The bottom level should be pitted olive, I think. <laughs> oh, my goodness. Well, I want to know where Dirty Martini fits into all of it. I don't know. <laughs> it's like a bonus it's called the Dirty Martini. I like it extra dirty. <laughs> okay. Um, <laughs> Crutch Rap <laughs> Supreme Holland. <laughs> anyway, oh. what do y'all think? That's I feel like I did nothing but laugh this entire life. So that's I my know. commentary. I, I just, I'm not going to lie. It was really hard to take it seriously. I can't. 
charcuterie board olive. Oh, Christy. Well, that is a whole new level. Oh, God. Dirty Martini is the CEO. <laughs> oh, CEO, I think. <laughs> you guys are amazing. We appreciate y'all so much. Oh, Erin, thank you for thank you for the ab workout tonight from the laughter. I hope this brought you some laughter. I yeah. hope you learned something, laughed a little, and... Also, thank you for the info, Aaron. We appreciate you. Yes, absolutely. Thank, mm -hmm. thank you to everyone who's sent us and will send us information, videos, whatever. It means a lot. We both have our emails. You can send it to and our Instagrams and all that good stuff. So we also, do. Go follow the content creators that are in the comments. Okay. Clown Town. Yep. Um, I know DC was in here. here. <laughs> I'm cry laughing. <laughs> So, um, so to Clown Town, you you saw Karina earlier. Yeah, Karina was in. Yep. Um, Savannah was in here for a little bit. You guys know Savannah. Savannah. Uh, okay. Well, I always feel like we're gonna miss people, and I hate that. I hate that about it. See, there's another one. Yep. Whoever was in here, I'll just shout out because I can't even. Oh, Tish. Tish wasn't in here, but she's probably sleeping or something. Yeah, Echo Echo. Go Echo, go Echo. subscribe to her channel. She's awesome. Yeah. And I, like I want to have olives tonight. I, that sounds really good. Subscribe to Aaron and Aaron, some subscribe to me. Yes. Also to our channels. Okay. Please and yes. thank you. All right. Much appreciate. Uh, before uh, before you leave, like this, please. Like your go like both lives. Yes. And I, I try to mention this. If you want to go a step further, because I know people are like, how can I support you? They try to ask more. You just leave a comment once it's over. Like once it's over, you can just put down a comment. That yeah. would be appreciated. Thank you for being here, y'all. Uh, we have some interesting stuff coming up, and uh, we really do. You'll see it, and we appreciate oh. you being here. What? Um, Clown Town and Tish are going live tonight. DC said and so. Karina. And Karina at nine thirty. Okay, so yeah, support so that. About an hour and fifteen minutes. There's going to be other people. Um, Tanya has a channel. I don't know what her channel is called. I get Marco is live too. If you want to go watch him, that's cool. Oh, Marco. Mm -hmm. It's boring. Hey, Marco was in here. Sorry, oh, yeah. Marco. Yeah. Hold on. It's bull ringling time. What does that mean? Yeah. What does that mean? Wait, I, I think I know what it means, but wait, I wait. are you, are we thinking the same thing? I was going to look it up actually. Always. Okay. What is he talking about guys? <gasps> DC says rate his channel. That would be kind of fun. Oh, no, he's not talking about that guy, but I wish. Oh, he's talking about somebody. Is that from, oh, Envision You. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, if y'all want to go raid Marco's channel, go for it. He's live. Leave a like and a comment after this is over. We thank you for being here. Go raid and say that y'all came from our live and that, yeah. Okay. Don't join an MLM. And uh, have a good night. Bye, everybody. Bye. See you later.